hey guys and welcome back to my channel we are here to talk about my past reviews so this is going to be another review roundup you guys know that i have decided to do this quarterly this was kind of an idea that we cooked up together as a fam right so basically i'm going to go back through all of the products that i have reviewed over the last few months i will let you guys know if i have revisited them if I still like them, if I found any issues in continuing to use the products. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and get straight into it because we actually have a lot to talk about. <laughs> okay, so first things first. Chocolate Kinks and Curls. Chocolate Kinks and Curls. Uh, McKee Berry. They launched their new products um, a few months back. This is the Terra Black Clay. And McKee Berry, I did the duo. So the, the clay wash as well as the styling custard. And y'all, do I do I still like these products? Listen, I've already gone through one of the clay washes. <laughs> y'all, no lie. I have been enjoying it so much. I have also continued to use the styling custard. I don't, I don't have it in front of me but it's more than halfway empty. So it's not going to be in, in the next empties. I don't know if I'm uploading the empties before this or after this. I ain't made my schedule yet, but <laughs> um, it's probably going to be in like the next empties, like my summer empties. So I love those products so much. The clay wash is super thick. It has tons of beautiful, amazing slip. And I find it to be one of the more cleansing ones out of the ones that I have tried. Now I do have, I officially have all of the ones in her lineup in my collection now, but I haven't used all of them. So let me know, what clay do you want me to use next? I have the red clay, I have the green mint clay one. I think those are the other two that I hadn't used, but let me know which one you guys want to see first, the red clay or the green mint clay. And I will do a video on it. And then the next one, I think this was a use up the stash and chat video, which I'll give you guys updates on those too, because these are products that I'm revisiting um, and just trying to, you know, use up the stash. Um, this one I did, this was my video about not shopping like an influencer. I hope y'all are listening to me. Sometimes I feel like in the comments, I'm like, y'all don't really be listening to me. Like, I appreciate that you trust me, but also... I don't want y'all going broke trying to buy everything that I show you on the channel, you know? Like, it's my job to show you things. It's my job to review things. Never, ever, ever feel like you have to go out and buy everything. Um, I always say make a list of the things that you wanna try. Nine times out of 10, they're gonna be there, you know? So, but anyway, in this video, I used the Green Tea Super Moist Leave-In from TGIN and I cocktailed it with the Care Care. Um, is it the, the strengthening gel? Yeah, from the Gel Essence Collection. And I still really love both. Um, you guys know the TGIN Green Tea Super Moist is one of my favorite leave-in conditioners. I was actually finishing that bottle off. I have finished it off um, and it is now in the recycle bin. Um, the Care Care Gel, I have not gone back to only because I remember historically it not doing super well in humidity and it is, it's getting more humid now. It's drier, it's been drier here than it usually is, but there's still enough humidity in the air to cause issues for me. So I need to try that again just to see how it goes in the humidity. Um, but that's one that I've always liked. Um, I do have a review video of the Gel Essence collection on the channel. I will link it somewhere in the cards in the description somewhere. Um, but that was my favorite one out of the ones that I purchased and it's super duper affordable. Still a great product. So that still stands. Next up is the Bread Beauty Supply products. I did a review on their wash and go so their, their wash day kit, I think it's their wash day one, something like that. Um, but I used all of those products. It came with the creamy hair wash, the deep conditioner, 
and the hair oil and one of the their hair puffs like a scrunchie that's sitting on my nightstand right now actually I use that often it's a bomb scrunchie I kind of want to get more it's one of my favorites um it's very stretchy good if you have a lot of hair <sighs> y'all I am loving the bread beauty supply products um and one of my recent reviews I came on what was it the curls blueberry bliss video that I just did um, I came on with my hair already washed and I used the Bread Beauty Supply products and they're just so good. Like the hair wash, it really is creamy. It's gentle, but it gets your hair so clean. It's a great one to have and to use in between, you know, clarifying sessions or it's good to use after you clarify your hair to help balance the pH. Um, I usually, these days I've been using a moisturizing shampoo after my clarifying shampoo and I've definitely been noticing a difference um, just in the manageability of my hair after clarifying even though usually I don't get my hair too tangled a lot of that has to do with how I wash my hair but I love that hair wash it smells like lemon cookies like the um, lemonade cookies from like Girl Scout cookies um, it has a really nice I would say almost like liquefied marshmallow texture like it it feels so good. It glides through the hair so well. It gets the hair clean without being incredibly harsh. So I absolutely love that cleanser and the deep conditioner is just, just scrumptious. Um, I actually have the product sitting over here behind me because um, I had them sitting over there from a previous wash day that I did um, last week. So I enjoy them. They're so good. They're very effective. That um, deep conditioner leaves my hair feeling like butter. It leaves my curls looking very plump and shiny. And you guys saw that at the beginning of that curls video. So my review still stands on those. Right now, those are some of my favorite products that I have tried this year. They're so good. I feel like the simplicity with bread, I'm a big fan of. I like how simple everything is from their line. They just released a new hair cream that I really want to try. Um, it's supposed to be like the only styler you need, you know, like it's supposed to moisturize and give you holes. So it's supposed to be like a one and done product. I definitely want to try that. Oh, and the hair oil. The hair oil is bomb, y'all. It's such a good oil. I, I'm actually kind of running through it. I'm, I would say like a little over a quarter through the bottle, which is a lot for me. You guys know I have a lot of oil. I could fry several chickens with the amount of hair oil that I have in this room because <laughs> I just get them like I get them sent to me they come in like kits and stuff like that but that bread beauty supply hair oil is literally they say it's like lip gloss for your hair and it is it's like lip gloss for your hair I love it it makes the hair shiny it's not greasy it's just a really nice high quality oil and the packaging is definitely vanity or bathroom counter worthy definitely um one of those products that you always see in a shelfie like you know it's just one of those so overall so far bright beauty supply has been a hit for me i haven't noticed any issues with the products i've used them for quite you know quite a bit after i did that review um and like i said in that video i like that yes they're in those packets so you can get every single drop but they still give you a lot like they're 12 ounce packets so you're still getting the same amount that you would in like a and like this size container just with less plastic. So I appreciate that. I did introduce the Glow by Day conditioning heat cap as well as the um, satin bonnet. That bonnet has been bay. I love that bonnet. Um, I've also recently added a new bonnet to my collection, which was the main choice one. But y'all, that thing squeezes. I think I just have a big ass head. I'm gonna just be honest. My daddy got a big ass head. My grandpa got a big ass head. Like I come from a line of people with big ass heads. So I think that's probably what it is because I don't really see anybody complain about this. Like everyone loves this bonnet, but that main choice bonnet squeezes my noggin. Like I wake up and it looks like, like there's a roadmap to my ancestors on my head. Like it just like all up and through. Um. I like the size of it, but I don't like the fact that it squeezes my head to the point where sometimes I get a headache. So a lot of times I don't sleep in it. I use my Glow by Day one because it's very stretchy, but it still stays on my head. And it also has like a little thing that you can like, what is it, like secure it. 
Um, and then the, the conditioning heat cap, y'all, I've been saying I needed to get one of those for a minute and I'm so happy that they hit me up and sent me one because that thing is bomb. It's so good. Um, I usually do two rounds with it. So I'll like heat it, put it on my head, let it set. And then when it cools down, I'll heat it again, put it back on my head and finish my deep conditioning. And I just love that I don't have to be tied to my dryer <laughs> while I deep condition. I can get up and I can go do things. I can really get work done because I don't notice being underneath my heating cap and trying to get work done. It's just, it's a distraction. If I'm sitting up underneath the dryer, I'm watching Netflix or something, you know, like I'm not trying to get work done because it's never like productive. So I love those. Um, I reached out to them a minute ago about this whole coupon code situation. I haven't heard anything back. I will be emailing them again, but I think there was an issue with my account. I had to reconfirm it, just a whole lot of different things. So once I get that sorted out, um, I will give you guys a coupon code so that that actually works. But I do have an affiliate link with them too. So I will have that link in the bio. Still working on a coupon code though. So once I have something, um, I will give it to y'all. But a lot of times they're doing sales anyway. Like I think they just did a sale. Um, every time I get an email from them, there's another sale happening. So you can get their stuff on sale. Um, and if you do use my link, I do get a small commission on it. Just so you know. The Mish Sculpt Curl Defining Gel, y'all. That gel. So good. That gel, like I said, is definitely not for anybody that is new to wash and goes. Like if you're not very comfortable with your hair or like comfortable with doing wash and goes, um, or like maybe you're transitioning and you're not really happy with how your, you know, curl pattern is forming and setting then this is not the gel for you because it is going to literally like set it and forget it like it's going to freeze whatever you have in place and that's it like it ain't gonna do nothing else like it's gonna set it right there but it leaves your hair so shiny and whatever curl pattern you have is going to leave it extra defined um the only like thing i would say to kind of look out for is really make sure that you smooth it through your hair make sure that you're not leaving any clumps of product because that clump of product will sit there and just hang out and it will disrespect you okay i'm just saying make sure you're really smoothing it through the strands and taking your time with the wash and go but i love how it works one because it pairs with my lavish leave-in conditioner and y'all know that's one of my favorite leave-in conditioners of all time i love the lavish leave-in conditioner um but i also just appreciate like there's no flakes it really just captures every single curl and it just kind of gives your hair this high gloss definition. I love it. It's just, it's such a nice gel and it has been doing very well. Um, and this heat and humidity that we have out here has been doing extremely well. So it's definitely one of my favorite gels right now. Shout out to a member of the fan bam, Sasha, for sending it to me because that is one of my faves. I'm definitely getting backups during Black Friday. Um, so that was definitely a hit, hit, hit. Okay, what's next? <laughs> oh, <laughs> this one. <laughs> Josie Curls. I have not put that shit back in my head. I'm <laughs> no. That shit was tragic. It just, it was. Like, y'all know I'm not the type of person to, like, down somebody's products, you know, but... That was trash. That was absolute trash. And you guys know I have nothing against affordable hair care. Um, there are plenty of things on the market that are super affordable that work so well. And if you don't believe me, I have a whole week long series from last summer of bomb ass affordable and expensive products. Okay, <laughs> so um. If you're new here and you don't know that I like using affordable products, I love using affordable products. And I'm also going to be giving you guys that series again. Okay, okay. It will be coming, I'm already working on it. I have everything lined up for it. So that is going to be coming probably at the beginning of August. So be on the lookout. But um, these products 
were just bad. Like regardless of the price, they were just bad. Um, the leave-in conditioner and the rinse-out conditioner are the exact same. They're the exact same formulation. They perform the same. Um, they felt good going onto the hair, but there was no moisture. Like, like it, it just went in and it was like, I ain't putting none on my hair. And for me, I don't need you to just like look good for a minute. Like I need you to actually moisturize my hair. The shampoo, I didn't even get a lather out of it. Trying to use it just tangled my hair. Like it didn't, <laughs> it did feel clean, but because of the lack of lather, all it did was cause friction and unnecessary tangling that I usually never would get using a shampoo, no matter how strong or stripping it is, you know? Um, so the shampoo was garbage. I, I don't think I would ever put that back in my hair. The leave-in and the rinse-out conditioner, um, I will probably use as a leave-in on days where I really just don't care, like, if I'm trying to do like a braid out or something and I just want to put a little bit of leave-in in my hair so I can let it air dry before I actually install the braids, I would probably use something like that, just like a throwaway product, you know? <laughs> um, or I will use those up as um, pre-poos, just use them to detangle and then go about my business because they're not good for any type of moisture. The um, conditioner and the leave-in, same formula. If you really like the leave-in conditioner from them, just get the rinse-out conditioner because it comes in a bigger bottle, it's the exact same formula, and it's the same price. So you might as well just get that and slap it in your head and call it a day if you like it. I mean, if you like it, I'm not hating, but it, it won't for me. Um, and then the gel. like it, The gel is probably the only thing that I feel like will be salvageable yet, but... I, I haven't put it back in my hair yet because I'm still salty about that. Like I was so excited about those products because I was like, it just it just seemed like right up my alley. Like anytime I can give you guys affordable products that work really really well, like I'm on it. Like I love I love getting giving you guys affordable options, things that you can get on the ground because I started my natural hair journey in college. I couldn't afford to spend all of my money on Camille Rose or she sent it, you know. So. If I can give you guys good affordable options for no matter what stage of life you're in, you know, like I, I want you to have that, but it, it just, it didn't work out. Like it was really, really shiny, but I don't want my hair to just look shiny. Like I need it to be moisturized. Like I need it to do something. On the camera, my hair looked beautiful. People were like, what was in your hair? But it was dry as hell. Like <laughs> it was dry as hell. And then the next day I had to wash it out because it was crusty, gunky, flaky disgusting like it was just gross it was not cute i wasn't a fan so yeah um if you want to try josie curls i know there are people out there that are saying they got great results with it i'm happy for them try at your own risk <laughs> okay because they just didn't do anything for me like and even the products themselves like they talk more about how the products smelled than how the products were actually supposed to perform and work and to me I was like okay so is it a line that's supposed to actually give results or is this just supposed to be some novelty bullshit you know it wasn't good it wasn't good so I stand by that review I will continue to stand by that review my opinion likely will not change I will give the gel another try at some point but the other products at once that's it that's it right and then we had another use up the stash and chat using the um sultanicals frozen gel with the curl blaze hair glaze you guys know i just put that combination in my um top summer whatchamacallit wash and go combos that video was live i'll put that up um so obviously i still like that combo i've revisited it quite a few times um, since I did that video, that video went up about a month ago, so I re revisited a couple of times. Um, the Curl Glaze Hair Glaze is just a great hair, like, curl primer. It has way more moisture in it than you would expect it to, but it has really good ingredients like Blue Malva. There's some coconut oil. I love the Curl Glaze Hair Glaze, and the Frozen Drip and Grip Super Hole Gel is bomb. It's very tacky, though. Like, like I said in the review, it's one that I feel like you should probably proceed with caution. Like, if you have fine strands, you can definitely make it work with a curl primer if you own it and it's too much for you. But still, like, 
be mindful of the fact that it is a very tacky gel. It's going to hold your hair very hard. Um, it still reminds me like a lot of the, um, what is it? The Eco Slay Jello Shot because that Jello Shot is firm. Like, it is incredibly firm. I would say the Sultanicals is like maybe like half a step up from that when it comes to how it holds the hair. Um, but the Sultanicals is just more tacky. It's not quite as smooth as the Jello Shot. So that is something just to point out to you guys. But I still love that combo. Like it's really great if you really need like that hard hold. Like if you need your hair to really be able to hold on and grow throughout the week, that's a good one. And I feel like my hair actually does that with those two products because my hair doesn't always do that. Um, a lot of times if my hair is, you know, in a shape, it's in that shape the whole week. And that's kind of it. My hair does actually swell and grow with those two products. So I really enjoy that combination. I highly suggest giving it a try if you own those two products and you have not put them together. All right, and then, oh, Melba's Kitchen Edition 3. That one definitely, like I said, was, I don't know, like, it just didn't have the same pizzazz, you know? Like, it wasn't, it wasn't what I was hoping for. I think it was definitely apparent that Miss Valencia wasn't able to have her hands all up and through the production of that box the way she usually does with the Melba's Kitchen boxes. There were some really good hits with that and there were definitely some misses. The biggest miss for me was the gel that was in that collection, the um, Lemon Meringue Wet Jelly. It had a great texture. Um, consistency wise, it reminded me a lot of the Coconut and Apple Curl Glaze from last year's um melba's kitchen box but it kind of just left me with this kind of awkward phrase like it, it wasn't giving what i felt it needed to give and i feel like like i said in that video i feel like it's just the amount of citrus in it like i think it's too much for a styling product at least for my hair like i've kind of explained before um citrus vitamin c it causes the hair the hair strain to constrict that's why a lot of times you'll see strengthening products and you won't see any proteins but you'll see a lot of citruses you'll see you know vitamin c listed as an ingredient and that's what it does it causes the hair the hair strand to constrict and it gives you that feeling of stronger reinforced hair for me that's great in the conditioner i don't think that that's the best for me in a styler the lemon butter was like i think the third ingredient there were some other citruses in there too. So overall, like I've, I used that jelly a few times and it just, the, either the application just got wonky or the overall finished dry result just wasn't the best. Um, I do still really like the milkshake leave-in conditioner. That was bomb. Um, a really nice leave-in conditioner. If she came out with that in an eight ounce bottle, I would totally buy it because the only thing was that she gave us like a four ounce bottle about this big and I I've already used a third of it so <laughs> that's a little disappointing um the um the sea deep conditioner that one like the seaweed clarifying deep conditioner um someone was like well maybe it's a co-wash I'm like it's not a co-wash it's not <laughs> Honestly, guys, I give so much detail that sometimes I'm just sitting there looking like, I really shouldn't even have to answer this question. <laughs> and sometimes I just let the question sit there because I like I shouldn't even have to answer the question. I read all the ingredients to you and everything and you still asking me this question like, it's not a co-wash, it's a deep conditioner. It works like a deep conditioner. Um, but at the end of the day, that deep conditioner is not gonna clarify your hair. I stand by that point, like, it just, it just is what it is. Um, I get where she was going with it though, and it's a great product. It was one of my favorite products in the box, as well as the Honey Poo Bar. But um, the hair cream, it was still really nice. I enjoyed it. Overall, like I said, like, it wasn't a bad box. It was just the whole rollout and just, I don't know, it just, it lacked 
pizzazz. It lacked panache. It lacked heart. Um, and I think that's just because Miss Valencia hasn't been able to be there. And that's not her fault, you know, so. But sometimes you can just tell when certain people do things. Like, you know how, like, when you go to a restaurant and there's a certain chef, like, y'all know who the chef is, but they always get it right. And you know when that chef ain't there because the food just don't taste the same. Like, it's just not hitting the way it should hit. Um, and that's kind of the situation, right? That's kind of how I felt about that box as a whole. So, um, most of the products were good. There were a couple of duds. The product that I was the most excited about was the most disappointing. And I still feel the same way. Um, I have re I've revisited the seaweed clarifying mask, um, as well as, um, the cream. Those are the two that I have revisited, uh, since I did that video. And I still really like them. So I feel like right now my review stands. All right, guys. So that is the conclusion of the second installment of the review roundup. Um, I feel like overall, I did a good job of trying to revisit everything um, and just making a point to reach back to products that I have tried. But a lot of these products too, I tested a few times before I did the video. So I already knew how I truly felt about the product before I even did a review. A lot of these were not first impressions. <laughs> so yeah, overall, I feel like so far, how I feel has been consistent across the board. If I had to give like a top, like the best um, <laughs> products of the quarter, I would say definitely the Chocolate Kingston Curls, uh, Terra Black Clay and McKee Berry, Bread Beauty Supply. And the Mish Sculpt Gel are like the best of the best of what I have tried over the last few months. And I have a lot of things coming, a lot of reviews that I'm about to do for you guys. TGIN, I have a very comprehensive review of Trey Lux coming this month. Um, Rizzo's Curls, I have a week in my wash and go featuring the Dew coming. I have a lot of different things like coming, so... Um, we're going to have a lot of different things to try. I'm going to have some weed ad on the channel soon, some new weed ad products. So yeah, just keep your eyes out. We're going to have lots more fun things to review and try out. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and are continuing to enjoy this concept. And let me know, what was your favorite review of the quarter? I want to know, what was your favorite review? <laughs> I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.